The National Association of Nigerian Students, the NANS, has expressed apprehensions regarding the student loan scheme in Nigeria signed into law by President Bola Tinubu. The president of the association, Pedro Obi, who expressed the concern during the inauguration and handing over ceremony of the National Executive to NANS in Abuja on Tuesday, underscored the importance of careful consideration in implementing such a program, highlighting potential risk and challenges. He emphasized the burden of debt on young graduates, the susceptibility to exploitation by corrupt entities, and the widening disparity in access to quality education. He called for caution, insisting on the necessity of robust regulations and support mechanisms to safeguard students' future and maintain the integrity of the education system. Why the law scheme aims to provide financial support to students? We must also recognize the risk it carries, including the burden of debt on young graduates, the potential for exploitation by plus elements, and the widening gap in access to quality education. We must proceed with caution, ensuring that any loan program is accompanied by robust regulations and support mechanisms to, to safeguard the future of Nigerian students and the integrity of our education system. Also speaking during the handover, the outgone president of NANS, Usman Umar, stated emphatically that Comrade Pedro V is the legitimate president of NANS. He added that there is only one NANS and elections were conducted by the standards of the constitution of NANS, urging the ungruntled sections to work with the current leadership for the advancement of the student union. One indivisible NANS. We conducted our election by the constitution of the organization and stipulated that the ASD should do accreditation. He did that. We have a new set of leadership. But some people are not happy with it. We don't have problem if they are not happy with it. But I believe with the caliber of people that are here, I believe Nigerian students are happy with the leadership.